Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. each weekday for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Sue. I'm a volunteer docent at the Art Museum. Tomorrow, August 6th, happens to be the birthday of Andy Warhol, born in 1928. In honor of Andy, I'd like to introduce you to a color screen print called Malze Tongue, created by Warhol in 1972. This print is 35 by 35 inches square, and about, which is about 3 feet by 3 feet, and it is one of 199 silkscreen prints of Mao created by Warhol. I should mention that this work is currently not on display at the museum. So what are we looking at here? I see what looks like a photograph of the former chairman of China, Mao Zedong. It appears that Warhol has colored in various portions of the photograph. I see a deep red on his face and ear. I see brush strokes of various shades of orange on his jacket. I see hints of baby blue colors applied to his eyes and hair. It looks like a flesh tone was applied to his lips and the space between his neck and jacket collar. Or maybe it was a base color that's poking through. I can't really tell. It looks like Warhol has applied a pale pink color to the background surrounding Mal. And finally, we see some expressionistic marks applied by the artist, especially visible near the neck and ear on the right side of the print and less visible on the left side. So why was Andy Warhol motivated to create a silkscreen print of Mao Zedong in 1972? Well, it helps to know that in February of 1972, Mao Zedong met with U.S. President Richard Nixon in Beijing, China. This was a very historic event, and it made headline news all over the world, as the two nations had not spoken to each other in many years as part of an ongoing Cold War. As you may know, Warhol was fascinated with celebrity, and this particular photo of Mao was very famous, as it was the official photo of Mao reproduced throughout China during the Cultural Revolution of the 1960s and 70s. As interpreted by Warhol, these repeated images painted with flamboyant bright colors and with his own added marks suggest a parallel between political propaganda and capitalist advertising much like the meeting between Nixon and Mao. So what do we know about the artist, Andy Warhol? Well, he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Austrian and Slovenian immigrant parents. From an early age, Andy was obsessed with fame and glamor. He would read Hollywood magazines and clip photos and autographs of his favorite stars. After high school, he studied graphic design and earned a fine arts degree from the Carnegie Institute in Pittsburgh. He moved to New York City around 1950 and became a well-respected commercial artist. It was also around this time where the pop art movement began to emerge. Some artists used their art to criticize what was happening around them, but Andy preferred to use his art to reflect on what was happening at the time. He is known for painting everyday objects like Coke bottles, Brillo pads, and even Campbell soup cans, one of which can be found in our very own museum right now. Warhol continued to produce work right up until his death in 1987 at the age of 58. As I close out today's discussion, I will ask you what celebrity, political figure, or icon would Andy replicate today? If I were Andy, I think Kim Kardashian might be on his list. Who's on your list? Please add your thoughts in the comments below.